Ilmira Abdrazakova, there we go, <laughs> beat 50 other beauties from different Russian regions. She wins $100,000, a brand new car, and of course the right to wear the crown, rumored to be one of the most expensive on the whole pageant circuit. Ilmira says uh, she'll use the prize money to do good in her hometown. She'll now represent Russia at the Miss World and Miss Universe contest. Uh, she says she'll never do any. She came close, taking part in an outdoor bikini photo shoot uh, when the temperature was minus 20. That's definitely suffering for your art, modelling outside in minus, in minus 20. In a, in bikini. a bikini. Yeah. Uh, well, she certainly looks very beautiful, but to what be honest... What do you think? Is she pretty? Is she Miss Russia? Have you seen prettier well, girls in the, in the country? She, she is beautiful, but to be honest, they all look extremely beautiful. Very high yeah. standard, it, it seems. Have there been many Miss worlds from Russia. I think so. Quite a, quite a few, because to be honest, it seems like there's a very, very high standard in that competition. Yeah, Although, that's true. I mean, I remember as a child watching this competition and um, just, well, beauty is very subjective, isn't it? And yes. um, I, I rarely agreed with the winner as, as a child growing up. I uh, think that lady's very pretty, number 21. Yeah, and if you wait They're around, there'll be another leggy. one coming in a minute, yeah. Oh, very, wow. What oh, do you think wow. about, here's, here's a, a difficult one, what do you think about the concept of beauty pageants? Um, do you know what? I think it's for a certain audience and it's definitely mm. a large industry. Um, I personally would never want to take part in one. I wouldn't want to watch one either. but.